Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Summer talking to you here. And do you want to buy a cheap Mac in 2023? But you are not sure and you don't want to buy certainly an Intel Mac? Well, in this video, I will help you out because I will tell you which is the best Mac to buy with Apple Silicon and the most recent one, the M2 chip in 2023. So if you are excited and you have around $500 to spend, then watch this video until the end. Don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. So, as you saw on the thumbnail and title of this video, the M2 Mac Mini is discounted at $500. Yes, Apple is selling the M2 Mac Mini refurbished at $500. To be more specific, $509. But why am I telling you that this is the best cheap Mac to buy when it's just a box with the M2 inside? Well, pretty simple because most of you right now, you, you have a display and you have a keyboard and you have a mouse. And if you just want to upgrade your computer, then just buy the M2 Mac Mini. Simple choice. Why? Because the M2 Mac Mini has everything you need. It has the M2 chip, which is an amazing, amazing CPU. It has an integrated GPU, which is great for 95% of people. It has eight gigabytes of RAM. Yes, I know, eight gigabytes of RAM doesn't seem like much, but keep in mind that Apple Silicon uses unified RAM. And unified RAM is a very simple concept. Imagine a pool, a swimming pool. And instead of everyone and every single CPU, GPU, and other components having different pools, smaller pools, you have this big public pool where everyone can go there and swim. This is the most simple an analogy that I can give it to you. But imagine that your CPU has the same access to the swimming pool, let's say, as the GPU and other components. So imagine you have a 32 gigabyte swimming pool or pool of RAM. Then your CPU has 32 gigabytes of RAM to access and your GPU has 32 gigabytes of VRAM equivalent to a normal x86 architecture. So you don't need to have 16 gigabytes of RAM internal for the CPU and then having a GPU with eight gigabytes of VRAM that ends up being very expensive. No, this is more efficient and the RAM is more efficient because every single device is getting the same information at the same pool, the communication between systems and the way that they store information is much, much more efficient. So you don't need to have that much RAM. This is one of the best things to have Apple Silicon. And in my opinion, you should take advantage of because with eight gigabytes, you can do about the same work that a computer with 16 have. And you are probably not doing more and anything that actually needs that much gigabytes of RAM. Think about this, if you are using Chrome, if you are using photos, a photo editing app, a video editing app, your email client, the photos app from the Mac open, you are spending about six gigabytes of RAM. Yes, it's cutting close, but trust me, like eight gigabytes should be enough for most of you. But if you are worried, then go search on Apple refurbished for an option that has 16. Other than that, I think that buying this $500 Mac mini can get you every single thing you need. Yes. I know it's weird to actually think that a $500 Mac in 2023 that came out this year in the beginning of 2023 is this chip. But this computer started at 599 with 256 gigabytes of storage, 80 gigabytes of RAM and the M2 chip. Keep in mind, this M2 chip is binned, but who cares? It's still the M2 chip is still powerful enough. You still be able to do every single thing you need, edit videos. In January, I bought this computer, the same exact computer that I'm telling you about, and I used it for two weeks to edit my old videos. And of course, we don't have any problem. I ran my channel on that computer, no problem. So if I can run my channel on that computer, edit five videos per week on that computer, you that does simple browsing, playing some simple games, web browsing, email, video streaming, watching movies, you will have no problems. And for $500, oh my God, for the base model MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro, you can get four of these. That's insane. Of course, you still have to buy an external display. Of course, you still have to buy an external keyboard and mouse. But again, these are cheap options. You can get a $100, $200 display. You can get a $50 mechanical keyboard like this one that I have here. You can get this Logitech mouse MX Master, which is the best mouse on the planet, in my opinion, for $100. And you get the MX Master, a mechanical keyboard, a good display, and the Mac Mini for less than $1,000. All of these will get you a complete setup for this computer. Of course, you will still need to buy external speakers. Although the M2 Mac mini has external speakers, they are not that great. They are only for the setup process, not more than that. But of course, 
all of these will cost you around a thousand dollars and for a thousand dollars i cannot see better value than this computer the m2 will be more than perfect but i think you will need to spend that much money because think with me you probably have a lying around uh, old display at your home or at least a old keyboard and an old mouse that you don't use is on a, a drawer somewhere and you won't use it but now with the m2 mac mini you will give a new life to these new accessories and i think you will enjoy them i think this m2 mac mini the value is so insane that five hundred dollars like three years ago what would i get you in terms of the mac world nothing trash like 2012 macbook pros with intel machines who cares no one cares about those those suck those are old those are not usable well this m2 mac mini costs you so much little than you are used to when buying a new mac and again this comes like new apple refurbished gives your computers new condition they replace every single thing unless the shell and it's like these components are new don't be scared about apple refurbished it's a great program you buy from here you get a computer which is new you save a hundred dollars and with this computer with those hundred dollars you can buy a good external display or at least a medium class external display hundred dollars you get an external display you have already a keyboard a mouse and you have a complete setup for six hundred dollars it's insane the value of this computer you can edit 4k footage here fine you can run an entire youtube channel here fine you can do your excel work your word work like word pressing work you can edit websites create websites you can edit photos edit videos like i told you play games watch videos stream movies the possibilities of this computer are limitless you don't have limits with apple silicon and even the m2 chip the cheapest one the worst one of the apple silicon computer lineup it's way more than enough for 95 percent of people and if you are still thinking that the m2 chip is not enough then watch this these are the benchmarks of the m2 chip the m2 chip is about 15 percent better than the m1 on cpu and about 30 percent better than the m1 on gpu if you had the m1 or if you know someone that has the m1 you would know that the m1 is way more than enough for you and with a 15 percent jump in cpu and a 35 percent jump on gpu this will destroy whatever you need to do this is just overkill for most people don't worry about performance don't worry about any of that and if you have these worries and you actually need more performance than this then why are you watching this video you don't need a cheap mac you need a professional mac and in that case i recommend you buying the m2 pro mac mini it's still really cheap but still really really good very powerful has the m2 pro chip has two more tunable four ports it has more features more ram double the storage so what are you waiting for if you need a professional computer and you don't want to spend much money the m2 pro mac mini is for you but for most people i still recommend the m2 mac mini at 500 dollars such a crazy deal guys this is so so insane that's why i think that the m2 mac mini is the cheapest mac you should buy right now i think that if you need the external display to be better i think you should go for the macbook pros those give you an insanely good mini led display and if you need a portable computer the m1 macbook air or even the m2 macbook air are great options although if you are looking for the m2 macbook air be careful because apple will launch a 15 inch version of this computer and if you need a bigger display just wait one month to see what apple launches on wwdc but i think that if you just want to save money buy the cheapest mac available don't waste your money buying an intel mac just buy the m2 mac mini this is a great choice and i think you won't regret it this has ton of io it has two USB-C ports if you buy the m2 pro version which costs you eleven hundred dollars comes with four USB-C ports these are tunable four ports it has two USB-A ports one headphone jack one hdmi one sd card slot and one ethernet port which for a hundred dollars more if you pay those you can get a 10 gigabyte ethernet port i think the m2 mac mini is every single thing you need you still get two tunable four ports if you opt to connect your mac mini to an external display via hdmi and you still get two USB-A ports which for mouses for keyboards and other older accessories are great and if you need more storage then I incentivize you looking for external SSDs that are cheap or even hard drives that are really cheap you can get like for $200 five terabytes of storage on a hard drive or even for $200 you can get like one terabyte SSDs from Samsung so there are other options than buying storage from Apple so don't be worried about buying a 256 gigabyte model with the M2 Mac mini that the base model that costs five hundred dollars comes so i think that buying external storage keeping up with maybe 16 gigabytes of ram if you can find one on apple refurbished will be the best option for you if you want to save money on buying a new mac i think that buying this mac 
will be the best value for the money you will get. And I think that in 2023, the M2 Mac Mini is the best value Mac for the money. $500 is half of the price of the M1 MacBook Air. It's insane the price that Apple is selling these computers. It's like dirt cheap. I think they are just selling the chip itself, the, the, the hardware, the case, the components. The, the, I, I think that every single thing that Apple sells you besides the M2 chip, they must have had it's so cheap to produce that they don't really count it at, at the price. So they just sell you the M2 chip at its raw price. And I think it's a good option. If you want to build a server rack from this, it's also a great option. You can buy like 10 of these for $5,000, which is the price of the base Mac Pro. So think about that. $5,000 gets you 10 M2 Mac Minis. Rack them on a server rack. Oh my God, so much power, so much capabilities. It's insane what you can do with this M2 Mac Mini. So versatile, so good, so cheap. These three qualities make the M2 Mac Mini, in my opinion, the best value Mac in 2023, and maybe of the decade. This is so insane. I cannot wait for the day that Apple launches this computer with the M4 or M5 chip for $300. At this price and at this rate of diminishing returns with the price of these computers, I cannot wait to see how cheap will the M1 Mac Minis go. Because now, Apple dropping the price on the refurbished models will seem that Apple will be dropping the price on the M1 Mac Minis even further, like to $400. And imagine if that happens, the used market on eBay. How cheap can you get those? Good computers, very fast computers, very reliable computers, bursty computers, but most importantly, cheap computers. And of course, at the end of the day, if you are watching this video, that you what really care about. Cheap, good computers. You want to save money, but you still want a good experience. And the M2 Mac Mini can deliver that. So if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel. This has been Tech Smart Talking to you here. Bye-bye.